Here we go again. Let's see what this fellow claims. All we're saying is give peace a chance, right? <laughs> Rabbi Lenin. So I'm saying if you'll do anything for peace, then we might as well try to build the Holy Temple. And, and Haggai also points out that the Temple is a source of all blessing for the world. And so you just say, if only the nations of the world would have understood what the Temple does for them, not only would they not have destroyed it, they would have surrounded it with fortresses to make sure that it would never be destroyed. Okay. Now, he quotes who he calls Rabbi Lenin. Give peace a chance. And in Matthew 10.34 it says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Mark 13, 1 and 2. And as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples saith unto him, Master, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here. And Jesus answering said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And he was right about that. Acts 7, 47-51. But Solomon built him an house. How be it the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Hath not my hand made all these things? Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, as your fathers did, so do ye. Now the name Solomon means peace. And that is a that name meaning is a sharp contradiction. Uh, between what Christ said. Christ said, I came not to send peace on earth. Solomon's name means peace. Well, Solomon already had a chance. And he messed up big time. That whole tabernacle of Moloch thing was a really bad thing to do, by the way. Matthew 12, 42. The Queen of the South shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. Now why would he uh, mention Solomon of all people? A lot of people think or thought that Solomon was the Messiah. Luke 20, 41 to 47, And he said unto them, How say they that Christ is David's son? And David himself saith in the book of Psalms, The Lord said unto my Lord, Set thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. David therefore calleth him Lord, how is he then his son? Then in the audience of all the people he said unto his disciples, Beware of the scribes which desire to walk in long robes and love greetings in the markets and the highest seats in the synagogues and the chief rooms at feasts which devour widows' houses and for a shoe make long prayers. The same shall receive greater damnation. Second Samuel 7, verses 5 and 6. Go and tell my servant David, Thus saith the Lord, Shalt thou build me a house for me to dwell in? Whereas I have not dwelt in any house since the time that I brought up the children of Israel out of Egypt, even to this day, but have walked in a tent and in a tabernacle. And I'm going to skip a few verses there, but you can go back and look and see what's there if you like in 2 Samuel 7. This goes on, this message for David. Verses 12 and 13. 
And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build an house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. But David did some choice things. He One was... Uh, According to 1 Chronicles, I believe it's chapter 21, he numbered Israel for Satan, and God was displeased with that, and he punished Israel because of it. Of course, they wanted a worldly king. And then Solomon went on to do the same kind of numbering after the same manner as David, according to another part of Scripture. And I've mentioned before let God be the judge of David, but uh, David did get busy with Uriah's wife also. So let's consider David's character. He, uh, he gave us the wrong builder a long time ago. Okay. Solomon was not the builder that God was talking about and he hired masons who used the wrong manner of stones. 1 Peter 2 verses 3 to 7 If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious to whom coming as unto a living stone disallowed indeed of men but chosen of God and precious ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ wherefore also it is contained in the scripture behold I lay in Sion a chief cornerstone elect precious and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded unto you therefore which believe he is precious but unto them which be disobedient the stone which the builders disallowed the same is made the head of the corner the head of the church of the real lively stone church Christ is the chief cornerstone but masons have a counterfeit cornerstone that they put in the corner of their temples made with hands. And that's how they make the chief cornerstone out to be the head of the corner. And that's brought up many times in the Bible. Hint, hint. So Richmond goes against all that's written about God not dwelling in temples made with hands and thinks that the temple should have been surrounded with fortresses so it would never be destroyed. When people think that a temple made with hands is a holy thing, then they make themselves idolaters. And the real God of Abraham destroys idolaters and their idols. Jeremiah 9, 11, and 12, And I will make Jerusalem heaps and a den of dragons, and I will make the cities of Judah desolate without an inhabitant. Who is the wise man that may understand this? And who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord hath spoken that he may declare it? For what the land perisheth and is burned up like a wilderness that none passeth through. Luke 21 verses 20 to 22 And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. 